boomerang, stabilizer, GoPro mounted on the bottom. Today we're gonna show you a cool technique where you can make footage that looks like this. Now that clip was the most famous one that I've seen, but you can also do stuff that looks like this. And in only a couple of hours, we were able to do something that looks like this. And in some ways it's fairly simple, fairly easy to do, but there's a few things that you have to think about. So let me show you how I did it. First of all, I went into the closet, I grabbed a coat hanger, I took off the little hanger part, and then all I had was what looked like a big wooden boomerang. I then took a sticky GoPro mount and I mounted it on one side. I drilled two holes on either end of the coat hanger so that I could attach a string to it. The string that I chose was kind of this tangled yellow string that we had in the closet, but ideally you'd probably want to use a fishing line just to make it a little bit less visible. I then mounted a GoPro case to it, I took it out into the yard and started spinning it. Now what I noticed, first of all, is that it was spinning upside down. So I went back inside, I took a GoPro sticky mount, put it on the other side of the coat hanger, went back outside, started spinning it. And while that helped a little bit, what I think happened though is that it, it threw the balance off completely and there was no aerodynamics to my hanger. And so I decided I needed to make some sort of wing. And looking around the table, I grabbed the pizza box and I wanted something that had just enough rigidity to it that it would stabilize it, you know, just enough the time to go test it out. The first thing I did is I set it to 720p, which on the GoPro allows you to shoot 240 frames per second, which is pretty handy. That's really slow-mo. The only unfortunate side to it though is that it shoots narrow, and that means that it crops down. The good thing about that though is that it cuts out the string. So if you can see from the footage that I shot here in the test run, as I was running down the field and spinning it, it's kind of cool. It zooms in a little bit, maybe too much though. So then the plan was to shoot at 1080p. And in fact, I had this brilliant idea to take it down here to the lake and do all of the shooting while I was skiing because I thought the most epic stuff I've ever seen is while people have been doing action sports. First of all, it tangles like nobody's business. It's really hard to spin it on your hand um, while, while you're while you're doing it. Well, I would not try that. <laughs> kind of dangerous. Because I had the boat and the rope was attached to the boat and my little rope was attached to my hey. hand, if it got tangled on the rope and I fell, it would be really bad news for my hand. Uh, fortunately for me, that didn't happen though because I've been skiing my whole life and that was really an easy start. But it could have been really bad. So I wouldn't recommend doing that with uh, with skiing, it just could end badly. The other unfortunate thing is that cardboard does very poorly in water, and I knew that, and I thought I could just keep it off of the water, but one dunk in the water and it was toast. And then finally, the aerodynamics get totally friggin' messed up when you're in the water trying to spin it because you're moving forward at 25 miles an hour, and it just, it does something funny with the boomerang thing as you're spinning it around your head. So maybe in other situations it'll be okay, but those are some things that I noticed. So here's a few other test shots that we did just to see what we could do with it. There you go, it does take a little bit of time to get this technique right. It's fairly easy though in the grand scheme of things. I hope I introduced you to something that will be fun for you to try. Uh, maybe you can think of some really epic shots that you can get with it and maybe you can take it to the next level. Till next time, we'll see you on Tuesday.